Hello and welcome to episode 37 of my Two Worlds tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on in <coughs> exploring, excuse me, exploring the capital city of Catalon. So if I bring up the map, you'll see that I'm right besides, I was following the river in the last episode and there's all sorts of things up here, but I just stuck to the river. You can see it's a large old map. But anyway, I'm down here midway in the map. Uh, well, just over midway, in fact, just past halfway down. But this side of the map's very dangerous, uh, very strong level, high level creatures down there. But I want to go and investigate the capital city because I've got this quest to hand in the merchant's uh, package that I've got to go give. So let's go check out Catalon. Also, got to get up this hill first and no doubt have other stuff to fight. Let's see. But we'll get there. So this is the capital and therefore it's the biggest uh, town you will find on the map. So there should be lots of quests here for us and uh, lots of houses for me to rob. Loot the chests and the cupboards and of course a fair amount of herbs. see all where I walked. Someday I'm gonna get over there. Probably won't live long but at least I'll check it out. Okay this looks like it's the entrance. And down here is where there are lots of nasty high level creatures, or spiders, I'm not sure how strong they are. But yeah, so we'll come out there in a bit. Oh, there's one up here, let's just check him out. Looks like a cross between a, sp oh it is a spider. Let's see how tough he is, shall we? Who's that? Oh, they are tough. Take that. Oh. Let's have a look. Okay, let's go into Catalon and take a look around. Get this package delivered and do a quest. It's always worth a good amount of experience. Better put my bow away. No quest givers there. Or there. Ah, oh, let's go in here, right by the quest. Great. Oh, here we go. Fariel. Fiddlesticks! I suppose you want a horoscope too! I am an astronomer, not a cheap fortune teller! Your miserable love life holds no interest for me! Hold, old one. I am not superstitious, and I have no time for girls except mayhap one. You seem somewhat nervous. I am an astronomer, not an astrologer! I research the skies. Mayhap I can also find Azeroth in his flying tomb. <laughs> Nincompoops. By the way, my name is Fario. Another nut. Why are you so nervous with strangers? I need silence for my research. Yesterday, one of these stupid moonstruck boys barged into my observatory and broke a lens in my telescope. I am lost without my telescope. Ah, mayhap I can help you. Verily? I will have to make a new lens with a flawless diamond from the dungeons below the city. 
If you manage this, I shall show you my gratitude in pecuniary form. Hmm, sounds a bit weird. Well, who am I to not help? Uh, I, astronomer, I will help you. Wonderful. I will name the next new star after you. Why, thank you. Oh, so let's see what he says about this. Well, if you really wish to throw your money away, visit Garandel in the eastern part of town. Fare thee well. Farewell. Okay, so we got a quest. True Astrology. Um, but that wasn't actually why I came in here. It was to try and do this quest. Oh, I could loot his, try and loot his chest. No, I'll do that off camera. All the pickpocketing. Let's go in here. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Stand still. Ow. Stand. Really didn't want to do that. I wonder if I can run away from him. One moment. Stand still. Oh, gates won't open. Halt! A witness saw you stealing! Yeah, I didn't mean Pay to. Pay 30,000 <gasps> in gold or get out of the city. Now! What choice do I have? Uh, let's try 30% of this and I've never heard of you. Alright, give it here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, all because I blinking clicked on the door and I didn't mean to. Ugh. What is going on now? The game's gone all weird on me. Right, let's talk to him. Welcome to the Merchants Association Agency in Catalan. Do you seek anyone? Hmm? The association seems to have a post in every larger town or city in the kingdom. Does this not cost more than it earns? People must know that we are a reliable and solid organization, and they do not have to travel miles to trade. Nay, the profits are indeed higher than the costs. How many people work here? It depends. Sam and Vela, our treasurer, is here most of the time, unless he's occupied in the vault. The same almost goes for Talor Ravenard, who currently heads the council of the association. Why only almost? He travels much. The Merchants Association is a huge machine that always needs oil. I must have... I shall see you anon. Ah, oh, right. Well, I thought he had a quest of some sort, but obviously not. Let's try not to open anything by mistake. I? What can I do for you? Sounds a bit nervous. Your Salmon Vela? Ian Furvan from Furbican asked me to find you and give you this. Ye gods! I thought it would never arrive. You must be that mercenary of whom they spoke. Who spoke of me? Why do you ask this? I do not understand. Taylor Ravenar himself asked me to keep an eye on you. You, barely a member of the association. Can you explain why you are of such great import to him? <laughs> Taylor Ravenard? I, the head, the leader, the one. Is this so unusual? I. It has never happened in all my years here. Aye, whatever you say, friend. However, I just want my money. Then you will see me no more. Wait! I may need you soon. And if I refuse? I prithee, do not refuse. I have my orders. I must find someone both trustworthy and courageous. You seem to have half of those qualities. Oh, aye. And which half, pray? Mm. Courage, but our trust, that you have to earn. Hmm, and your unpopularity with the common people surprises you? Ha, huh. he insults me. Do you not need this money? Hmm. Trust me, 
If you come to an arrangement with the Merchants Association, it is the best. If you prove your worth, of course. Oh, lovely. Reputation in the Merchants Guild increased. Uh, gained a level, got money, and... Well, let's have a look at the factions. So, Merchants Guild, look at that. 8 out of 10. Not bad. The Brotherhood, of course, I've done. I've nailed that. Uh, the society still needs a bit of work. Merchants Guild, check that out. Price reduction of 40%. So I'm going to have to try their shops. The Greaser, I've still got a lot of work to do. Necromancers are doing very well. Cargo Clan, really unknown, but working on it. And Skeldon House, even. Uh, I've got some respect. Checking out my stats. Because I know some of you may be interested in that. So you can see I've been killed six times. Nothing to be proud of, of course. But I'm showing you that, at least. My combat efficiency. Not too shabby, is it? 99.54%. I need to lockpick one more item. And I'll get another skill point. Yay. Uh, thefts. I don't really enjoy doing that. Uh, just because the mechanics behind it are so bit messed up I think so I mean you can do it I know people have commented that they thief uh, but I'm not into pickpocketing I'm more into pick locking uh, teleports another level of 11 of them I need to find get another skill point monsters and enemies killed so I need to do a couple more hundred of them and you can see I've walked a bit I need to do some swimming though that's for sure so there we go there's all of them stats <coughs> Right, let's come out of there. So I've got a new quest. And I've got a new level. Let's have a look. How are we doing in the level area? i still got some work to do on this. Um, yeah, let's sink some more points into this. There we go. Look at that. 50% quicker for my bow draw. And I've got a couple of points left which I've still yet to decide what I want to spend them on, but I'll decide that eventually. That'll do for now. Okay, how do I get out of here? So, what I want to do now is walk around town, see if I can find more quests, because the quests are definitely worth always doing. Because you get a huge amount of experience, money, it's all good. Oh, here we go. No, no more homeless, I prithee. My home is full. Homeless? Ah, oh, where are my manners? Good day to you, stranger, and well met. Forgive me. Things are terrible these days. Many homeless people in Catalan, eh? Indeed. And it is always the same people who take them in, while others rattle around in their houses alone. Aye, I heard. But I doubt I can help you there. Mayhap you can. An old wretch by the name of Rose Primsey lives nearby. Mayhap you could persuade her to take in some of the homeless. Mayhap you could persuade her to take in some of the homeless. I've always been too soft-hearted, so my home is full and her many rooms are unused. I can see you are a good man, so I will try to convince the good dame. There's some funny words in this. Whence come all these homeless persons, pray? From the smaller villages around Catalan. Their lives are in danger out there. I oh, know, I killed some spiders. Why is the old lady so cold-hearted? Life has not been kind to her, and she has no wish to be her again. So she's closed her heart. There's a familiar tale, is it not? Farewell. Hey, farewell. <laughs> oh, we got two quests. Crowded with refugees, talk to Rose Primsey. So, there's a blue glow over here. Wait a minute, I've done that already. Why is it? Them steps are bugging out. And I don't know if that door's locked, so I'm not going back in there again. Thank you. I don't want to get arrested again. What's in there? 
yeah, I think I'm going to have to, let's see, I know how I can do this. Because there's something bugging up with the graphics. So what I'm going to do is drop a teleport. Teleport elsewhere and then come back. And I may as well teleport to a trader. Well, I'm sure this is supposed to be the town. Well, I hope the game's not bugging out. No, damage on these just isn't good enough. They're worth a lot of money though, these roads. I've got so many arrows now, I don't know what to do with them. Right? That's the ones I want to keep. Poison. Oh, provides immunity to poison, cure all poisoning. Definitely worth keeping them from the scorpions. Okay, yeah, no, this is bugged out, and I think what I'm going to do is end the episode here because I don't want to do lots of progress and then find out it's all lost. So let's go back. Yeah, this is just getting worse. Okay, I'll end the episode here. We've got a bit of a buggy time going on. I shall try exiting out of the game and going back into it. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get these bugs sorted out because it's not good. Goodbye.